My name is Jung Won Gi, and I'm now attending the Chongshim International Middle School. And yeah, now I'm going to start my speech. So, my dream is to become a politician. A politician, even though I know that the job politician is the number one job to be criticized and commented by the people, public citizens, and even from us, teenagers. But still, I really want to become a politician for so many reasons. So I just thought again and again about how to become a successful politician. And I just got to the conclusion that I have to rather make and suggest the good policy and the good solution which would satisfy all the people's wants and needs and also resolve so many problems existing in South Korea. So in this talk, in this presentation, I would like to mainly talk about what is the good solution, what is the true good solution, and how to make those good solutions. Okay, the fix is in, and it's cheap and simple. This is one single sentence, one single quote from the book, Super Freakonomics. And I strongly believe and I strongly agree that this sentence is so true. And in this talk, in this presentation, I would like to verify and prove this one single fact to all of the people, ladies and gentlemen, sitting and standing here by talking about the crosswalks. And before I talk about the crosswalks, let me just introduce and point out the miserable and serious situation of the South Korea related to the car accident and the crosswalks. So, four French die because of the car accident in their country on the crosswalks. And in the same time, because of the same reason, five Japanese die. But what makes South Korea so miserable is that, let's just count together, 같이 좀 해주세요. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Yeah, 16 innocent people who just wanted to cross the crosswalks die because of the car accident. And this is miserable. And if I just transfer this into the rather statistical data, we can get to number like this. One over 20,000. One over 20,000, which means the possibility for you and me of dying on the crosswalk because of the car accident in our daily life. And for the people who just cannot grasp the meaning of the one over 20,000, let me just give you a one single real life figure. So, four of the Beatles members just came to South Korea and they are just walking down the street and they just suddenly decided to take one single shot for their album cover and they just crossed the crosswalk five, for 5,000 times, which is such a dangerous try in South Korea. So, they just crossed the crosswalk for 5,000 times. And it means that if they crossed the crosswalk for 5,000 times, one of the Beatles members would surely die. And if we are a fanatic fan of the Beatles, we don't want Beatles to die because of the car accident. So, car accident on the crosswalk in South Korea. Such a ridiculous and awkward death for a superstar like Beatles. So, we have to prevent them from dying. What can we do? There are two solutions. First, first, to establish the regulations, to make the restrictions. But however, we all know by experience that it didn't really work in South Korea for the past 30 years and also it's expensive and complicated, so it's not the good solution what we're really going to find for. The good solution should be cheap and simple. And another solution is that we have to make a perfect crosswalks. Yeah, a perfect crosswalk, so cool. So how can we make the perfect crosswalks? These are the three conditions that the perfect crosswalk should satisfy. So first, it has to be visible. It has to be easily visible by using bold and bright design and colors. And second, it has to be economical. Why? Why it has to be economical? Because the fundamentally and basically, the crosswalk is the facility or the product which is provided or produced by the government. And we all know that the government officials like something very cheap and easy to manage. So the perfect crosswalk should also be cheap and easy to manage, simple. We have to think economical and we have to use cheap ingredients to make a perfect crosswalks. And third, it has to be pedestrian friendly. What does it mean by pedestrian friendly? Let me just explain this more deeply by talking about one example. So this is the most common design of the crosswalk we can find in South Korea, which is so-called the continental crossing. But however, I strongly believe that there is a fundamental problem in this basic design of the crosswalks. This is the viewpoint uh, from the car drivers. And I believe because of this longitudinal design, because of this straightforward design, 
car drivers does not stop in front of the crosswalk, but just go through the crosswalk. And we all know that this is the opposite from the basic function of the crosswalk. So we have to fix it. We have to fix it. We have to rather suggest the new suggestion, a new design. So crosswalk is for the pedestrians, not for the car drivers like this. Car drivers is using the crosswalk, and this is so wrong. So how can we, say, how can we correct this? How can we save the Beatles from vicious and evil car drivers? Oh, sorry. Some of the vicious and evil car drivers. I just thought that there are only teenagers in this symposium. And yeah, some of the car evil and vicious drivers. So how can we save the Beatles? These are the six solutions which has been suggested by various public designers and also the government officials for past 150 years from the start of the history of the crosswalk, which was in 1849 in England. But however, we all acknowledge and we have to all admit that each of the suggestions has its own disadvantage and shortage. So, but however, I believe because it's more pedestrian friendly since it has latitudinal design added into original crosswalks, I believe solid design and the zebra design and the leather design would be a rather better solution for South Korea. And uh, this is a good news. I saw the leather crossing, leather crosswalk in Everland, near the parking lot in Everland. So the Everland is saving people. So let's just give Everland a big applaud. Thank you, Everland. So, and this is what I call the best solution. This is the best solution suggested by our honorable senator in South Korea. But however, why, why this is a bad solution? Because it's, oh, wait a minute. Because it's expensive and complicated to install. So I believe this is not an adequate solution. And this is some kind of good solution, but we all know that, uh, yeah, the structure is simple. Like if the car goes and it just gets into the pit, but however, this is expensive using the pumping device. So I think it's expensive. So this is not a good solution, what we're really going to deal. So, the good solution should be cheap and simple. Why? Why it has to be cheap and simple? Because we are dealing with the solution, not the idea. Yes, maybe the idea could be expensive and complicated. Like iPhone, MacBook, or computer we have in all our home. They are complicated and expensive, but however, they are a good idea. But we are dealing with the good solution, and the good solution does not exist as itself, but however, good solution exists with the people's participation. And the people's participation is the essential part, it's the important part, it's the crucial part in making the good solution. People have to easily participate to boost that good solution or good policy. And so it has to be cheap and simple. If it's expensive or complicated, it is hard for people to understand the single idea or solution. So that's the reason why it has to be cheap and simple. This is what I call cheap and simple solution. Just by adding the few paintbrush strokes, it is whole changing the perspective of the original crosswalks. This is the viewpoint from the car drivers. And I believe, I firmly believe that this is more pedestrian friendly than any other, <coughs> any other crosswalks that I've shown before. And this is also a good design I found in China, Hong Kong. So, just adding the paintbrush, yellow and blue paints in original crosswalks, it makes itself noticeable for both pedestrians and the car drivers. So this is a good design. And also, this is the best design I found on the internet. Look, this is Abbey Road in England, the same place where Beatles took their album cover. And by just changing the linear pattern into zigzag patterns, it is making the car drivers unconsciously affected and make them slow down in front of the crosswalks and just st or stop in front of the crosswalks. So this is a good design. And for the people who are obsessed with the statistical data, I got the statistical data here. Look, some, one of the city in South Korea has just adapted this zigzag patterns in the crosswalk and they got the result like this. Two deaths decreased, injury decreased, both casualty decreased. This is the change. This is the change we can find, we can bring, just by changing the linear pattern into zigzag patterns. So this is the power of this cheap and simple solution. 
And let me just whole wrap up my whole presentation by a few sentences. The solution has to be easy and simple and also cheap. But there is no only solution for one single issue. But however, what we really need are the solutions, different, various, new, creative, fresh solutions that can be adapted in different case, different situation, different time and different place. That's the solution, what we really need to seek for. And I strongly believe in this power of the cheap and simple solutions. And also, I believe that problems such as global warming, drug addiction, high crime rate, pollution, food shortage, all in these serious problems, I believe that we all can find the cheap and simple solutions which could resolve these problems. And some might say like this, then why do we need solutions? Why do we need various solutions? We still have conventional ideas and traditional solutions that has been suggested by our parents' generation or grandparents' generation. But we have to remember this. There are so many variables existing in 21st century. 21st century, such a fast changing era, and we have to think all those variables. And I believe that it is too dangerous to just adapt the conventional idea to the new case. We need a new solution to the new case. That's the answer. And also, maybe some of the teenagers will say like this, I, I'm not really confident about my idea. I'm not really confident about my idea, and I think my idea is quite dangerous and experimental. Yes, it might be expensive and experimental, but what I want to say is that at least we have to try. We have to try to suggest those ideas. Ideas worth spreading, the Taz motto. And I believe all ideas are worth spreading. All ideas can give the inspiration to all the people. Your suggestion, your that simple and small solutions can give the inspiration to other people. You are the inspiration. You are the inspiration. So, and simply we have to make our dream, our solutions, make our ideas just dance in front of the stage, so-called the society, so-called the globe, so-called the world, because there are so many things we can change. There are so many things we can change, and those small changes we make, those individual small changes we make as teenagers, can create the big shift, the big change, the big shift which will save so many people's lives, our family, our friends, our loves, and also this big shift which should change and save our society itself we are living in. And that's what I want to see in 21st century. Thank you.